Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. This is Harmony. I am recording a quick video because I just wanted to be able to show this particular curriculum. I know there are not a lot of videos out there where um, I'm able to see like different um, books and things that I am thinking about purchasing and just kind of going through them. Most books that I get are offline and all you see is like the cover of the book and you don't get to see what's inside of the book. Um, or what books, like there are some um, books where you don't need every single book in the lot or the collection. You may just want one or two books or just trying to see all the options that I may have because I know most parents are like me, which is on a budget. And if I don't necessarily need the book, um, or if the PDF is okay, or whatever the case is, then I just want to be able to see all the options. Um, I'm also like, a, I'm a minimalist, so I don't like having a lot of unnecessary things or, you know, just extra books that I will never use on the side. So I'm just really quick, just going to go through them. I will be using this curriculum for the 2019-2020 school year for my sixth, going into sixth grader, I guess. Um, <laughs> But, um, so I just wanted to do a flip through. This is the Saxon Math Homeschool for um, your advanced sixth graders or your seventh graders who need a little bit extra help. So, um, yeah, so this particular curriculum comes with the solution solutions manual here. It comes with the three books. Um, and just an FYI, because I am a minimalist and I am a mom on a budget, um, I try to be frugal, I try to be, you know, conscious of where I'm spending my money. I don't just go to the direct website and just purchase at whatever price. I try to get it off eBay or Amazon or from the thrift store or wherever and just try to get a good deal because I know every year I'm going to have to buy the next one or, um, you know, just spending so much money. I'm just, I don't, yeah, that's just not, yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> This right here is the solutions manual and you open it up like this and it basically here's your table of contents here and that's just basically obviously all of the answers. Just to kind of give you an idea of what is in this book. Now I have been using the Saxon math for like, I think since um, fourth grade. We'll be entering into the sixth grade now. Um, and I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, I don't think you could pay me to switch curriculum. <laughs> okay, so let me keep going. Go to the back. Here is your supplemental answers. Not every lesson has supplemental work, um, but some of them do. And this right here, okay, so, and I'll go over this in a second, but here is your daily facts answers. your test, the answers to your test. Okay, so um, how we do it, right? So this is mine, teacher's uh, solution guide. Um, so we have our big book here. And sometimes, okay, so if you have multiple students, students, then you can copy this. You can scan it on the computer and print off copies, or you can just write directly into the book. Um, I just write directly into the book. But <laughs> if you wanna save this, for to resell it or if you have multiple students or um, you just don't want to write in the book then yeah you can scan it we did that for fourth grade but it became so tedious that we just start writing in the book so um, this is your basic book and then this is your tests and worksheets book so what we do is, is we start off the day and she'll open up her tests and worksheet book like let's say okay so the beginning of the school year right here there is approximately 120 lessons that we have 
we have had fourth grade, fifth grade, and also in sixth grade. So we have, there will be, for the first few weeks, so you'll have the first 10 lessons and then a test. And then it's after that, it's five lessons, test, five lessons, investigation, and then, or test, and then investigation. And investigation teaches you like a new concept, um, a major new concept. And then you'll have your lessons, test, lessons, test, investigation, lessons, test, lessons, test, lessons, test, so on and so forth, all the way to... 120 and then so there's 23 tests and 12 investigations in this book here is your instruction so let's say um, you start off it starts off easy as the beginning of the school year usually does and then you shall have um, addition facts for the use with lesson one and so this is they start off you give them however much I usually give her however much time that she needs for the addition I mean simple um, she'll have just like a couple of minutes where she'll start off with that and then so this is for lesson one this one is for lesson two lesson three and so on and so forth and then at the back of this the tests and worksheets you'll have your tests here are your tests here are 23 tests and they they let you know when you should give this so test one to be administered it covers lessons one through five and give it after lesson 10 test two covers through lesson 10 and give it after lesson 15 so on and so forth there is that and so this is test one and this is what it looks like and then they answer this and then um, here's test two and test three and so on and so forth. This is for six grades. Okay. So here is the main book, the big book. Like I said, there is 120 lessons. There's your investigation, which is frequency tables, histograms, and surveys. Just to kind of let you see. Which or what each lesson consists of. Now I bought this particular set together. Um, I purchased it through Amazon, Amazon Prime. So here is a letter from the author preface their philosophy and this right here will let you know all the components or what comes with it there is attendance records um, well recording as you, as you can see so if for depending on your particular state depending on if you have to record this particular information you have scorecards test solution papers big practice solutions papers that you can scan and make copies of lesson worksheets uh facts practice so you can keep records of all of this depending on um what your state requires for you to show for your reviews or maybe standard okay so there's that warm up and so it literally goes through and lets you know how to do it and i will just show you help list of materials that is recommended in order to do these particular lessons or investigations or warm-ups um, for the most part for the most part they usually give you what you need like even like little money and stuff like that you'll cut it out like pictures of money it'll be in the tests and worksheets book so okay so lesson one um, and we usually do one lesson a day depending on how easy how well she's um, understanding the lesson so we'll start off like I said with um, the 64 edition uh, facts which is 
I guess you can call it test day, but yeah, 64 edition facts. We'll start off with that and I'll time her and then we'll do the mental math together out loud. So she'll say A, B, C, D, and she'll give the answer. We'll read the problem solving, answer that. And then we'll start off with the new concept. And so I will literally go through this with her and we'll go over like the definitions and what exactly it is they're trying to teach during this lesson. And it'll usually take us no more than 30 minutes roughly. Um, and then it'll give you some examples and then an answer, explain how you got the answer. Another example, example, um, fact families part one. And like I said, this is lesson one, so it's pretty simple but just to remind them just in case you know a lot of kids don't do any work for the summer um, and then so after that you'll have your lesson practice where um, she and I will do this portion together and then when she gets all these correct um, then I'll just go off and let her do the mixed practice herself um, so we do this together we'll answer the questions if she has any questions um, she'll ask them then at that point and then we'll go from there and I'll just um, give her the mixed practice which starts here it's usually about well in the beginning start for 25 it's usually like 25 to 30 questions um, their homework portion and so I'll give her this and she'll answer this she'll go off and she'll do this by herself um, and then when she's all done she'll give it to me and then that's basically our math lesson for the day so here's lesson two which is on this here is our warm-up. We'll start off with the facts page. There's the mental math portion. Um, and then here's this. Now, in some cases, if they require um, additional um, work in this area, you can supplement of your own, uh, of your choice, or whatever it is that you want to do. Um, but there is some supplemental work included in the back of the book. So here is the lesson and 30 questions. Okay, and then here's the next lesson. Here's the new concept. All right, fast forward. Here's lesson 24. Same thing. Fast forward, lesson 38. And I just really like how it breaks down the concepts that they're teaching. Um, and it's not like you have some programs where it's like, well, you master one subject and then they don't, then you go into the next subject and you don't really go back to the first subject until or the next year. Um, and that doesn't really work out for us. We like more of a stair step, stair step um, kind of curriculum where it kind of just builds and builds and builds and you kind of just, um, you kind of do the, not, you don't, not that you do the whole thing the whole year, but. <laughs> Yeah. All right, let's see. Supplemental practice problems.
and then you have a glossary in the back. I feel like this curriculum is just laid out so perfectly for me and she just gets it so well. I feel like um, the way they lay out the chapters um, is just so simple um, for me to be able to remember, um, to remember going through this in school and then to be able to um, help her understand it as well. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to share that. So share book one, book two, book three. Um, you can buy the solutions manual used. You can get it off Amazon or eBay or at a, a thrift store or like a secondhand bookstore, like half price books or like a, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> and then, but this right here, you can buy it used as long as it's not written in. Um, otherwise, you may have to get this one new, and then the tests and worksheets you would want new or at least not written in. So, yeah, just wanted to show you guys that and let me know if you guys have any questions or if you want to see anything specific. Um, all right.